Hello everyone, backyard beekeeper guy here. Uh, it's kind of windy here in Oklahoma, but looking out my window and I see my peach tree, I have a swarm. And it's pretty big. There they are. I'm gonna go get suited up because I swell up something fierce when I get stung, so. And it is very uncomfortable for days. And uh, yeah, no bueno. So anyway, let's go get this swarm. Got uh, a couple of frames of comb. One of them has pollen in it and a little bit of honey. And the other one, mostly open with a little bit of honey as well. Let's see if I can get them on, uh, on camera here. Right, I think this will work just fine. They're just chilling up here in my peach tree. You can see uh, probably some of my peaches on there. Anyway, pretty cool. Let's see if we can get them in here. There's a main huge cluster right up through here. And then there's some even going up there. So I don't know how this is going to work. I don't want to cut this off. So we're just going to shake the crap out of them and see what happens. That branch went way up high after shaking them. I can't reach it now. Son of a gun. I didn't really want to shake them. I also don't want to cut a big old branch off my peach tree. I've done that before, but I'd prefer not to cut it. You can see quite a few bees still up there. So I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, give them another shake and uh, see if we can go ahead and just knock all them off there as well. Pick this whole box up again and go for this one more time. Picking the peach tree. It's one way to get bees all over the place. Oh no, lost a peach. A couple of them. Shaking those peaches. No telling. I'm gonna let this set here give them some time see what happens and uh, figure out what we need to do because you can still see I got a nice cluster building back up here again already I can't just chill out and enjoy a peach right these are a little too small I think and hard like I said I had two frames that were uh, all the way built out you can see the old ones there and then I put three empty frames in there this is a good size swarm so I figured give them some open space to to work on and uh, so they're getting some pollen and some honey straight away in those frames that already had built so that's pretty good I was wondering when I was gonna have a have a swarm pop up on me. Today is May 11th, Wednesday. So, my 
first swarm of 2022. This is a good sized swarm. It's one of those things. You think you're keeping up with your hives and you know where everything is and how how they're doing and then next thing you know you have a swarm. No matter how closely I keep an eye on them, it always seems to happen. I think last year I had three swarms. That's not bad for, uh, it was probably about 12, 12 highs last year or so about that time, 10 to 12, I don't know. We're at about 17 to 20-ish right now, and yeah. Pretty much more bees than I need, more hives than I need. So a lot of equipment and stuff to keep up with, so. Oh. Not sure what to think yet small cluster up there still now but I have a feeling she's probably still up there so I'm gonna shake them again it's a good size swarm really See if I can hold them at this height. Okay, not very many of them ended up on the ground, so set them back down right here. Woohoo! Pretty exciting. Still some up there. Got about eight foot. Eight foot up in the air there on that tree. I'm just glad they're not higher. I got a uh, pear tree over here that's pretty tall. Just thankful they didn't go up in the top of that one. I'd say if you like my video. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. If you're watching my videos and you enjoy what I'm putting out there, let me know. Okay, I think I've shook up. Is that I've shaken them uh, at least three times and it's pretty hot out here so I might just leave them be just like they're sitting right now leave them be go get me some lemonade have a seat in the shade and then 
see how, uh, see what they do because I still see there's some up there in the tree, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling we got her in this box. We're gonna keep going up there to that tree for a little bit, at least until her pheromones start to start to wear off over there, I think, but this looks really good. I would tend to think that this is a uh, this is a, a mated queen or an old queen versus a, a virgin due to the size of that swarm. Just a guess, though. We'll know for a few days. See uh, see if there's eggs in there straight away. We'll know, but fun, fun. Pretty exciting. Like I said, that's my uh, first swarm of 22 um, I always come out and look in my trees this time of year just because you know I have quite a few here close to my hives and yeah they always end up in a peach tree or a uh, evergreen got these big old evergreens back here that uh, they were getting in last year Seems like once a swarm goes into a tree, they, uh, a lot of times, I don't know if there's pheromones left over, but uh, subsequent swarms that come along a lot of times will uh, go to those same trees, even the same branches sometimes, so kind of crazy. But uh, you can see uh, some of my hives over here, some of the action we got going on. I have a feeling it's probably this hive right here. It's big, uh, well, too deep. It's a two deeper plus uh, super on there. The feeling that one could have swarmed. That, that was pretty strong. I was planning on getting back in there this weekend, but yeah, it's Wednesday and they decided to swarm. So I have another one over here that had a few queen cells, but I did splits off of them. And uh, that swarm, those swarms would have been a lot smaller, I would have thought, with a virgin. But that would be this hive right here here next to my apple tree so hey there's my high tool just wondering where that was all right well like I said we're gonna go get some lemonade and then we'll come back and we're gonna see how they're doing and they are ah see that cluster up there in that tree it looks like it's getting smaller that means feeling good about this See the entrance there? Oh yeah. Very nice. Lemonade time. Okay. Lemonade break is over. And this looks pretty good. Looks like they're all settling down and going in there. Because there's the branch. Let's see what's up there. I see one, two bees up there. So I think it's safe to say our queen, she is in the box. All right, all I'm gonna do now is throw that lid on there. See if I can coax these, these ladies here on the edge. Let's see if we can convince them to go up in there. I could get some smoke for this, but I, uh, I'd rather not mess with it. I don't want to smash anybody, so I want these ladies to all live. Go up inside of here and go make some honey. Anyway, thanks again everyone for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Happy beekeeping all, next time.